The Hey Arnold theme song is a classic, no doubt. But when you describe the elements, you end up sounding like an escapee from a loony bin. What follows is an insane yet accurate description of the theme to Hey Arnold. So it starts with, here we go, here we go, here we go, in this modified synthesizer voice, but the voice never comes back and the song sounds nothing like the beginning of the song. It's like a count-in, but like if Kiss went one, two, three, four, and then Kenny G played. Then there's screeching cats and they're going to be chased by some barking dogs. Take that, cheers. Then there's going to be these two kids, and anytime their thumbs come together, it makes this woo-woo noise. And this woo-woo noise will interrupt the main score music to show exactly how cool these kids are and uh, how cool that handshake is. At one point, a trash can is knocked over by some fat kid interrupting the woo-woo thumbs. You hear it, and it's loud, and it's startling. But it works. I promise it works. There's also going to be like a blood-curdling scream just in the middle. And that also works. And there's street sounds too, like the sound of a city bus, a siren, a basketball swishing and bouncing, footsteps galore, all of which work. I promise you these work. I know it sounds like they don't work, but I'm, this, is, this is a genius song, okay? Oh, and there's also this girl who annoyingly yells Arnold throughout the entire piece. Imagine a girl trying to get your attention in elementary school and you just want to listen to your teacher. Yeah, that's exactly how annoying she sounds. And her lyrics end with her yelling at the guy that he has a dumb football head. And towards the end, everyone gratingly yells the boy's name. Everyone. And it's all over jazz music. It's the song version of Springtime for Hitler. It was almost written, Destined to Fail. How could it possibly be good with all of that in it? Here are the sounds as described, by themselves, separated from the music. Those sounds are awful. A theme song should be catchy, fun. You should be able to sing along. This is almost an anti-theme song. And in spite of everything, it does work. That's thanks in part to Jim Lang, composer for Hey Arnold. I was doing features. I had done three or four features in a row. Well, Craig and I actually worked on another Bob Rogers project, which was a attraction that's down at Knott's Berry Farm. And at the same time, I was doing a John Carpenter film, with uh, doing a score for that with John. Craig said, oh, by the way, I've been pitching this thing to Nickelodeon, and would you be interested in doing music for the pilot? I said, yeah, hell yeah, of course, I'd, I'd love to. And so we made the pilot for Hey Arnold. It was, a, it was really a collaboration. The discussion was a collaboration between the two of us. And it's one of those things that composers live for, is an opportunity to sit down with somebody and and just blue sky, you know, musical ideas. What, what do we want to do? And we both at the time had been listening to KCRW. Jason Bentley was playing acid jazz. It's when acid jazz was happening. And acid jazz was one of the early uh, genres that where they would, you know, to make big samples of these kind of old soul jazz, you know, kind of famous soul jazz recordings and combine those with beats. It wasn't really hip hop, it was, you know, the, the groove was, was different, but it was definitely a, a kind of urban, jazzy, really nice kind of amalgam of, of, of you know, mashup of those two styles. So that was one thing that we both had, had been listening to that we really dug. And the other thing that we agreed on was we both loved the Vince Guaraldi music from the Peanuts uh, series, from the Peanuts specials. Because it was so, it was really, it's jazzy for one thing, and also super melodic and really composed, you know, intentionally composed in a way that cartoon music is, can, can sometimes just kind of be, you know, oh, this is just cartoon music language, as opposed to something that's, there's, where there's really a melody there. So those two things were what sort of came out of the discussion about what to do, you know, musically on the show. Interestingly, working with Craig, he very seldom, I very seldom get notes from him. Many times with that show, uh, unlike other shows I've worked on, the first time listening to the music together would be at the mix. <laughs> so, you know, the ship had already pretty much sailed. 
And we didn't get a lot of feedback. They got a lot of feedback on scripts, uh, as I recall, from, from Nickelodeon. But we didn't get feedback on the music at all. So basically, they turned me loose. I went off and started making this weird stuff, and that's what went in the show. I, I remember consciously trying to sometimes to write stuff that they would kick back to me and say, no, this is too weird. <laughs> There was another version of the Hey Arnold theme song that almost replaced the standard, a version that you could sing along to. Actually, the only piece of music that they ever kicked back to us was the first version of the theme song. Um, uh, Craig had always had in his head this kind of jazzy, you know, uh, Rat Pack, what, you know, a vibe, in, you know, that just... Dino Spumoni, who's one of the characters that's in the show, you know, who is kind of a failed Frank Sinatra wannabe, was the embodiment of that kind of bad, kind of bad swing. Hey, uh, oh, we're swinging now, babe. Uh, give me a bouncy four. You know, that, that whole goofy thing. And so he said, you know, I think the theme could be like, you know, Arnold, you crazy cat. Anyway, we're in a, you know, we're sitting down in a meeting with these guys and we start to sing that theme song. And as soon as we started singing it, there was this kind of like a low moan from across the table. It's like, oh, no, no, no. So they totally hated it. Craig said, okay, well, back to the well. Go come up with something else. And so I, I went away. And, and then the idea that actually became that theme, that theme song was a melody that I had written years ago when I was back in Boston. I actually wrote it. There was a guy that we knew whose dad was the guy that started Dunkin' Donuts. And it was, I wrote it as a Dunkin' Donuts jingle. Uh, it's, it's not the whole, it's not the exact melody, but it was like, I got the feeling for a donkey today, a Dunkin' Donuts, Dunkin' Donut, you know? <laughs> and I, I always loved that melody. I just thought that's such a great little swinging melody. You know, I never even played it for Donnie Rosenberg, who was the guy whose dad was the Dunkin' Donuts guy. You know, at the time, I didn't have the arranging chops to actually make an, an arrangement of it and play it. I never really kind of finished it out. But anyway, that but and did it and did it just as, was a kind of a cool little nugget of melody. And so the, the theme song kind of jumped off from there. The show was already called Hey Arnold. And I don't, I, I don't remember where that happened. I, I, I think it may have come in when they were animating the main title sequence. And, the, you know, it's the kids, you know, kind of parading down the block and everything. And having Helga in there. Yeah, 24 Hours to Live starts out that way too. It says you hear, Arnold, Arnold. One of the things that it was a, an idea about the way that Arnold was and about the, the narrative for the show that really didn't come to life in the show. The uh, executives didn't like it, and so they just kind of gave up on it. But the idea was he was he was always daydreaming, like kind of like in the claymation thing, you know. So he had this rich sort of fantasy life. At the beginning, everybody was calling out to him, you know, trying to get his attention, trying to wake him up or whatever. And so that's sort of where those lines came from. You know, Helga, of course, being the, the loudest <laughs> and the nastiest of them, she got kind of center stage in that whole thing. But I think that's when that became a part of the, the theme song. Actually, they just took they just took advantage of the natural holds in the in the arrangement of the song. It's funny, I, I don't remember ever talking about that stuff being in there. The only thing that I knew was going to be in there was just like that stupid little sample of me at the beginning, which was a rip from some other hip hop record or something. I just, it was like a sample that was the same thing as a guy saying, well, here we go, well, here we, you know, just cut out of that. And I just thought that ah, that's so cool. I gotta, I gotta rip that. So, <laughs> so I, I sampled myself saying that, but yeah, I don't remember when the other stuff actually got plugged into it. You crazy cat in your natty hat. I really love the way your head is shaped like that. Hey Arnold, push button please. Won't you please tell me what your last name is? Swinging with Gerald while Harold wise and Helga shines. Yeah, you're Arnold. Nickelodeon Zone. What is it? What is in the Nickel Ozone? That's a theme song. Or what a theme song usually is. Fun. Upbeat. No cats. No trash cans. No screaming. 
But Hey Arnold never fit into how things should be. The show and its music were far more interested in what could be, even if that included cats, trash cans, and a girl insulting the weird-headed kid. (laughs) 